but what we're actually doing, we're unlocking capacity that actually lives in that shop floor now. That's not so you don't have used. to invest in a new machine? No, these, these are going to give you capacity back that you're losing on everybody's shop floor. I'm here at the Carl Fullen Group in Derby in your innovation centre. Now, what are we stood in front of and why is it your most popular product? Yeah, so this is our Smile 420 range. Uh, this particular model is our Pilot One controller. It gives uh, our customers a little bit more control and a little bit more capacity on tooling. So, whereas we've looked at a smaller machine before, the Smile 420 range is standard. Uh, can measure 420 millimeter diameter tools by 420 millimeter long tools, but it's also available with a 600 or 800 column and 600 diameter. So it's a very usable machine. Uh, the Pilot One Control is uh, a bridge between our flagship Pilot Four and the Pilot Starter that we talked about previously. This control also has all our previously looked at uh, user friendly pictorial interfaces for quick easy measurements and get labels but now we can broach into more process oriented controls so we can store nominals and tolerance values in here so we're entering the red light green light scenario that most manufacturing facilities need okay so this is more aimed at who is this aimed at more of an sme more of a slightly larger business uh, yeah i think so I, I think depends if people want some control so we'll see this machine anywhere from customers where they've got two CNC machine tools and it's making a big difference in there up to a full factory of machines. So I guess I'm surprised by actually, like you mentioned earlier, how, how modular the system is, how really this is kind of aimed at anyone from two, two CNC machines up to a whole, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 CNC machines. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we usually find that uh, shops where they've got two machine tools, they're doing lots of setups, where pre-settings are a no-brainer really because setups are the time that cost you money on your machine, up to uh, shops where they've got lots of machines, they're still doing lots of tool setting, and the, the reality there is they need tools into that shop floor environment as quickly as possible. Brilliant, and that's going to, obviously, that's going to save cycle times, save money. Yeah, and, and the, the, one of the biggest things on all our, our machines that we push is return on investment is really good because the cycle times do come down, you're right first time, your setup times are reduced, but what we're actually doing, we're unlocking capacity that actually lives in that shop floor now. That's not so you don't have used. to invest in a new machine? No, these, these are going to give you capacity back that you're losing on everybody's shop floor. Brilliant. From tool setting, from, from all those lost, that lost time. Yeah. So you're also going to show us a quick demo. Do you want to, do you want to explain what you're going to show us? Yeah, so we're in this machine today, we've got a, uh, an adjustable boring bar. You know, everybody that's got a machine tool has used one of these at one time or another, and, and we know that they're difficult to set. So in our library now, because we know this tool is the one that we, we want to control, we select it from our library, and now we're, we're into our system where you can see we've got nominal dimensions. We're even going to check that we've got the right tip radius in this tool because this is a biggie for us you know if you're coming down there speeds and feeds and t you know your load on your tooth your tip radius is an important it's issue. a big factor i guess yeah, for, your, for sure. your feed rate and so now we can see that instead of just being uh, an easy measurement where we're going to uh, be guided through from a picture we can now click our yes i want to measure this tool and it's going to guide us with our compass so this is our gps compass and it tells the operator where he needs to be on this screen Phenomenals. See, I like this feature because most of the time, if you're out here, if you're back here with the with the preset, you kind of have to guess where to take the camera yeah, sure. just to find the just to find the tip. Yeah, and whether there's a tool there or not, this is going to show us where we should be. Okay, once we get here, the Smile 420 range. Once we start getting to the Pilot One control, has an added feature that we can have our autofocus spindle. So whereas before we've looked and we have our focus guide and it's down to the operator, so you have to go and to dial focus. it in manually. Yeah, and we, and we give an aid for that. This one's going to do this focusing automatically, so it's hands off. This is completely operator independent now. So when he's arrived at his nominal point, he clicks OK. The spindle is now going to automatically focus the tool. So it gets to its optimal highest point and it applies a spindle brake because this is a special routine so you for can't boring move right bars. Now. So this isn't going to move anywhere. Oh. So now you can see that our X dimension here is red because we're out of tolerance. So we're 33.6 now. And we need to aim for 34. So we can unlock our boring bar and literally real time, we're going to dial this out, if you can see. And as we get to within tolerance, the scales will go green. Ooh. Nice. And you're trying to aim for that 34. Yeah, because it's, it's easy to hit. We can lock it off. Bang on 34. Click OK. 
print your label, and off you go to your Bang. machine. Bang, so easy as that, yeah. which if you did it on a machine, I mean, it'd probably take, what, 10 times as long as that? Yeah, for sure. Thank you for the demo, Andy. Now, if you're looking to expand your machine capacity without investing in any extra assets, which I'm amazed you can do with one of these machines, then maybe you should get in touch with Andy, send him a challenge. He's interested in any, any problems you've got to throw at him. Maybe you should check out the Zoller Pilot One.